everyone welcome to the episode of 2nd august let me start by contrasting last week to today last week in auto we had four sectors in 90 to 100% zone two in the 90 to 80% zone this is down to 1 3 2 suddenly the sector is looking lot different especially after the carnage today in the auto sector banking we had zero in the 90 to 100% zone there is one now this is shriram finance software we had 3 1 1 1 none of the it companies is suddenly in the 90 to 100% zone so a lot is suddenly happening in the large stocks though the indices may not be reflecting it because select stocks have still gone up today there were only bears in the market only two sectors stood up pharma which is the biggest defensive in falling markets renewable energy auto and software dragged the indices down most banking was held together by hdfc today otherwise the cuts today would have been lot lot deeper Look at the cuts in auto today. Tata Motors, Maruti Suzuki down nearly four to five percent each. No place to hide in auto today. IT Zomato went through re-ratings. It was up twelve percent above two fifty now two sixty two. This may cross three hundred also in the current euphoria. I won't be surprised. The volumes are phenomenal. Lot of buying interest is there. The other product company InfoEdge also was up five percent. rest the entire services sector was bleeding as indicated by gift nifty bank nifty as well as nifty started with a huge gap down after that nifty was hugely range bound 150 points is nothing for current levels of nifty option buyers of any type call or put both would have sold today they would have just bled in decays bank nifty also started down but it corrected a bit thanks to hdfc but that also was hugely range bound hardly a 300 point range for bank nifty titan has just reported net profits to fall a bit this sector and stock will be very interesting to watch in the months to come for the simple reason that most gold companies had gold at old rates imported at a higher rate they would have at least 2 3 months worth of stock for the upcoming festive season how will they get rid of that inventory Nifty as expected was down a lot today international markets are spooked with the events which are happening in middle east especially around lebanon with us and uk warships moving around it bank nifty was held by hdfc bank that was up a lot today otherwise look at the deep cuts couple of days back i had left lnt at 3820 170 points down in just two days that's the largest construction stock in the country if the it was down 2 and a half percent fi is sold di is bought net net not much now nifty energy corrected a lot this sector was doing pretty well till wednesday last two days have been bad 1 and a half percent down next fifty also was down 1.3 percent defense down nearly 2 percent one thing which i noticed good today copper probably has found a support around 4100 levels in the international market based upon this actually i have taken a trade also for now which i am holding on to now gold has reclaimed 70000 silver crossed 84300 uncertainty is there in the market the adrs are looking weak bitcoin is correcting crude is correcting lot more it is now below 80 for the refiners beyond a point if this price corrects a lot then the grms get impacted so marketing companies may love it but most of the market companies are also having a refining arm so this will become a problem if it corrects too much us markets are having a huge problem intel pre market is down 25% nvidia in this week alone in ups and downs has covered probably 1 trillion dollar in terms of market cap fluctuation alone this jump in a single day was 380 billion dollars Lens was caught in a 20 point range today didn't do much TCS continuously down HDFC went up consolidated ICICI was choppy Airtel choppy SBI tried to go up significant number of times but it has to settle down only Infosys just like TCS continues down HUL down ITC down LNT tried to stay up but eventually it was pulled down by the markets heavy profit booking look at where HDFC is in terms of 52 week high low all other banks had gone up more than hdfc and they all came under heavy profit booking pfc was singled out for severe punishment 3% down one good thing is kotak mahindra as well as icici actually recovered from days lows immediately after opening with a gap down defense stocks corrected a lot data patterns results were not good 
the sector may undergo silent consolidation and correction now people will start losing interest look at the deep cuts the biggest today were in the larger players hal and bel hindustan zinc gave good results margins went up overall the stock is looking good but the steel stocks came down hindalco also down hindustan copper down sale and mdc nothing unexpected in these kind of severe cuts metal is badly impacted railway stocks irfc was up a bit rest all big players were correcting irfc is the only railway stock left in my portfolio right now it sector one very interesting data i wanted to share in terms of us the job market is under a free fall this is a linkedin post just use it for your reference private sector job openings at 6 year low hires plunge most quitters which means people who voluntarily leave their jobs for better opportunities that also is lowest since the covid crash this is the covid crash for some reason we believe that our companies will remain resilient and they will not be impacted by what is happening in us note that zomato and info edge are totally different stories at the worst shadi.com will lose some customers in the us if there is a big recession energy sector was completely completely red oil companies 1.3% down ongc ioc oil india all of these companies actually should have benefit from the drop in the crude prices but today was a bad day people wanted to have some money in hands and they exited positions where they were profitable and this sector has gone up a lot in last 10 days or so so this is where most profit was you might see oil india ongc and even perhaps ioc go up tomorrow if markets are not down a lot Now suddenly pharma is looking very interesting it has been up for 9 out of last 11 days so has been renewable energy household goods investment banking electrical utilities 8 days aerospace and defense is looking really weak followed by healthcare telecom cement stocks were bleeding today trend came under heavy profit booking 4% down now this stock will be first to recover also when the market start going up the good news continues till it is included in nifty which will take another one or two months food and tobacco is defensive sector that actually did not correct too much if adani wilmer was locked in upper circuit that's because adani enterprises is kind of demerging adani wilmer shareholders of adani enterprises will get adani wilmer stocks and after that adani wilmer will not be a holding company of adani enterprises it will be an independent company home building supplies corrected a lot insurance corrected investment banking has gone up a lot so obviously there was a heavy profit booking here but companies like motila loswal bsc they have significant interest left in fact both of these companies are hugely underowned so you might see buying in them continue very soon heavy machinery heavy correction today siemens abb hevels pharma c of green today look at the deep cuts in real estate this is not just profit booking this is people exiting perhaps lot of people are stuck after the budget waiting for an upswing which is not coming so they wanted to just be on cash right now you might see titan down a lot tomorrow page industries is an all time high nearly up 2% today just as a disclaimer this is one of the stocks in my long term portfolio nifty 41 stocks down 9 up the fear continues in the banking pack next 50 38 stocks down 12 up zomato adani wilmer info edge they were up in today's market also significantly in terms of my portfolio i did a bit of buying today i bought back the eperi shares which i had sold last week the strategy worked two new stocks for now they are for trading reasons mrs bactors is a consumption stock they have several interesting products including contact manufacturing for many biscuit brands so looks like a good stock interesting stocks navneet education probably it's for the results one week two week maximum quick peek into ramakrishna forging results this is a stock i bought recently in the long term portfolio why on why revenue up 13% abita up 17% pat up 3% annualized revenue up 24% annualized abita up 21% annualized pat up 38% Tata Motors quarter on quarter there was a significant dip in the number. However, obviously the market would compare year on year considering the size of the stock, which has gone up in terms of sales. Expenses have not gone up much. This is strange because in auto industry expenses are proportional to sales. But I'll explain you why this happened. Operating profit as a result actually went up year on year from thirteen thousand two hundred crores to fifteen thousand eight hundred crores. very significant jump in fact opm also jumped 15% up year on year as well as quarter on quarter which is very good actually from number perspective 
अदर इनकम वॉज अप सिग्निफिकेंटली एज वेल एट नाइनटी फोर करोड टू सेवनटीन फोर्टी सेवन करोड एज अ रिजल्ट नेट प्रॉफिट वॉज फाइव सिक्स नाइन टू करोड कंपेयर टू थ्री थ्री जीरो वन प्राइम ऑफ एसी दिस नंबर लुक्स प्रिटी गुड स्पेशली नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर क्वार्टरली ई पी एस बिकमिंग सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सेवन फोर वी आर एट द कंसॉलिडेटेड स्टेटमेंट वेन यू लुक एट एक्सपेंसिस दिस नंबर इज द डिफरेंशिएटर चेंजेस इन इन्वेंट्रीज ऑफ फिनिश्ड गुड्स सो टाटा मोटर्स हैज कंज्यूम्ड इन्वेंट्री फ्रॉम प्रीवियस क्वार्टर वर्थ थर्टी वन सेवनटीन करोड थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड सेवनटीन करोड इन द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर वन फोर जीरो एट वॉज एडेड सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस नंबर द नेट प्रॉफिट इज हायर देन वॉट इट शुड बी आवर वाई ऑन वाई ऑल्सो दिस नंबर वॉज सिक्स थ्री जीरो थ्री करोड एज अ रिजल्ट द एक्सपेंसिज है इंक्रीज्ड नाइनटी एट टू सिक्सटी सेवन टू हंड्रेड नाइन टू फाइव कंसिडरिंग द कॉस्ट ऑफ मेटेरियल कंज्यूम्ड विच इज द हाइएस्ट नंबर हैज रिमेन अनचेंज देर इज अ नेट इंक्रीज इन एक्सपेंस ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड करोड हेयर देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन रेवेन्यू ऑफ सिक्स थाउजेंड करोड हेयर नेट नेट थ्री थाउजेंड करोड एक्स्ट्रा हैज कम आउट एज नेट एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉफिट दिस इज वॉट यू सी हेयर अप्रॉक्सिमेटली स्पीकिंग थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड करोड एक्स्ट्रा इन टर्म्स ऑफ नेट प्रॉफिट इन केस ऑफ टाटा मोटर्स वॉट आई फील इज इयर ऑन ईयर देर इज जम्प हाउ एवर द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर लीडिंग टू दिस क्वार्टर देर इज नॉट मच इनफैक्ट सेल्स हैव गॉन डाउन ओनली दैट टू सिग्निफिकेंटली ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड करोड थिंग्स आर नॉट लुकिंग गुड एट ऑल फॉर टाटा मोटर्स अनलेस सेल्स पिकअप ड्रेस्टिकली इन द नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर बट मोस्ट कंपनीज हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड गिविंग डिस्काउंट दैट विल रिफ्लेक्ट इन द ओ पी एम्स इन द नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर नो इंटरेस्टिंगली महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा हेड अ रिवर्स प्रॉब्लम इन देयर केस द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर वॉज माइनस इन टर्म्स ऑफ इन्वेंट्री दिस टाइम इट इज प्लस विच मीन्स दे हैव एडेड वहीकल्स टू द इन्वेंट्री डिसेंट करेक्शन इन द मार्केट टूडे हाउ एवर आई डोंट थिंक लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल वुड हैव फाउंड करेज टू बाय टूडे पीपल इन फैक्ट एट दिस स्टेज वुड बी वंडरिंग वॉट टू सेल एंड बी ऑन अ बिट ऑफ कैश मैनी पीपल वुड बी ऑन फाइव टेन परसेंट लॉसेज इन मैनी स्टॉक्स एंड देर वुड बी रिलेक्टेंस कमिंग इन एट दिस स्टेज इन सेलिंग दो स्टॉक्स एट अ लॉस आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इन टू स्पेकुलेशन सो आई हैव अ बिट ऑफ कैश अवेलेबल टू बाय मोर इफ द मार्केट करेक्ट बट आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग टू ट्रेड एज यूजल स्लाइटली डिफेंसिव मे बी बट नॉट टेकिंग कैश आउट सिग्निफिकेंटली एज ऑफ नाउ स्पेशली फ्रॉम लॉन्ग टर्म पोर्टफोलियो द बिग कट हैज बीन कमिंग फॉर मेनी मंथ्स नाउ नो वन नोज वेन इट विल कम इफ इट कम्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग I'll see you on Monday.